So to use your GoPro Hero 8 using QR codes and access some additional features like schedule capture which is available in the Hero 9 along with few more features like motion detection and speed trigger you'll have to install an app called QR control which is available for iOS and Android both. So after installing the app you can change various settings for the camera from here. So in the first menu you can select the camera mode. So you can select video time lapse, time warp photo, you can select resolution, frame rate, stabilization options and the field of view and you can enable this date and time option to set precise date and time in your camera. So if I turn on my Hero 8 Black and if I scan the code the camera is automatically updated the time and the video settings are also changed according to the camera mode and the settings we have selected. Similarly you can adjust all your protein settings from here. So you can select white balance, sharpness, color profile and bitrate, your ISO value. You can either enable GPS from preference one menu, enable Wi-Fi if required and all the various settings like voice control and all. But what we are interested is in the delayed capture, motion detection and speed trigger. So in the delayed capture menu, we have a few options over here. You can either type in the time value at which you would like the camera to start and record. For example, if I type in 17.28, which is 5.28 pm, and if I turn on my Hero 8, and if I scan the code, it automatically starts recording. So similarly you can set your desired time value over here and then scan the QR code and then set up your camera and it will then turn on automatically and start capturing. Now this feature is available in the Hero 9 directly but for the Hero 8 you can access it using this QR code method with this QR control app. So using the delayed capture menu you can access the schedule feature on the Hero 9 on your Hero 8 Black. You can also capture sunset or sunrise from this menu but for that you'll have to first enable GPS on your camera because the camera needs to know your location to determine the sunset or sunrise time. So for that you'll have to first enable GPS for which you will have to go outside and get the GPS signal uh, connected and once you do that you can simply type in how many minutes before or after you like to set the camera to capture. So if I select 30 minutes before sunset and end after 30 minutes and if I scan the code it says awaiting GPS lock 0% and button to cancel. So because I'm indoors there is no GPS signal so this won't work for now. But if you go outside and establish the GPS connection and come back and scan the code with the desired settings it will work. So the next is motion detection and make sure that you clear all the fields before scanning onto the next uh, QR code or simply click on clear from this icon over here. So the next is motion detection. So here we have a few options as well. So the first is the sensitivity value. You can set this from 1 to 5 but it also goes up to 9 and you'll have to experiment with this because every scene will have different motion involved so you'll have to try it out yourself first so for example I'll set the sensitivity value to 3 then delayed start is the time for you to set up the camera and move aside so I've selected that to 5 seconds and then mask motion so this is to avoid detecting false motion like if there are leaves in the scene or of trees and similar objects which which should not trigger motion. So I'll set this to 5 as well. And the last is hold time. So for how long should the camera record after it has stopped detecting motion. So I'll just select 5 seconds as well and you can click on repeat. So once it detects motion the camera will start recording and once the motion has stopped after 5 seconds it will stop recording and then again wait to detect motion. So I'll scan the code set the camera 
and so if I move my hand around the camera started recording and after 5 seconds it will stop if there is no motion and if I move my hand again it starts recording and to stop the command simply press the shutter button so you can use motion detection for the hero 8 from this app and the last option is speed trigger so this could be helpful if you are on the highway or if you use your camera as a dash cam and you would like to record only when you reach a certain speed so you can start recording if you go above 50 kilometers per hour and you can end when you go below 45 and you can hold time which is continue recording for 10 seconds and click on repeat you can change the units by changing the language from the settings and now if I scan the code so make sure that you first clear all the parameters because I was using motion detection and I didn't clear it detected that as well so once again my start speed is 50 end is 45 hold for 10 seconds and repeat and if I scan it So this will also require GPS. So once you're traveling and the GPS is enabled, you can capture videos when you reach a certain speed. So that's all I have to share in this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and like it and comment below if you have any questions. And thanks a lot for watching.